Good French, right? Huh? <laughs> yes. Hello. We are Mr. Chich. Dear yes. Mr. Kesh. We are from Prague, Czech Republic, and we are very honored that we were able to come to your conference. Uh, we would like to invite you to Czech Republic, uh, because many people before we came here were asking us, they were not able to come. Uh, so they were asking us to ask as many questions as possible, and especially if you would come to Prague. So I want to ask you, what would you like to send as a message? You can invite us as long as we have the time. Mm -hmm. And if we come, we just don't come for one meeting or one lecture. It has to be well organized and it has to be at least a large number. Mm -hmm. So, and that's all you need to do. And the topic you would be talking about? You choose. Uh, could you say maybe to people now something that you can do the metaphor or the space or the energy in this technology you have to speak about everything you mm -hmm. cannot be specific because <coughs> this is not a one-off it covers every aspect of life mm -hmm. so it depends what they want we, we talk today's talk was a teaching specifically to explain about tesla about magnetic field connection the I next think, time is a medical one. The time after is a space. I think there would be definitely a group of people that would like to learn to build those technologies. But as I understood, you would prefer scientists to, to do that. For the time being, yes. The scientists have to do it to teach the people to do it the right way. Secondly, we don't know everything yet. Therefore, it has to be, they have to understand it. I think within the next 12 months it should be in the hand of everybody, but at least it starts from the scientific government and then you go down to people. But the pattern is open, so we know once one person releases it, it will go like a wildfire. Mm -hmm. There are people who have done it, we asked them to withhold till we are ready, and from today the, the gates are open. Yeah. They have no problem with it, but they are they're all waiting for the, what do you call it? for themselves to decide. Yeah. And when we release this new tape, people can understand the practicality and reality behind it. Yeah. And what do you think is the best way, uh, because there are many obstacles to accept these technologies, especially people are often not ready to even to believe it. Obstacle is a state of mind. Mm -hmm. That's what they understand, they can go, what they do, but you cannot stop people thinking. This is one of the problems we have with the Islamic countries. The problem with the Islamic countries at the moment is not that the technology is not right in the space technology, but <coughs> because the Americans gone to the moon first, they said they want to go to the moon because in Islam, moon is a holy place. It's, it's very, very precious. So they can start a revolt that, oh, they're going to the moon to destroy our faith. So, it's the people's culture and their mentality who stops them from accepting it. But in fact, the Iranian government has all the facilities, whatever they like. Mm -hmm. So it's people's perception. Mm -hmm. And if you accept open to, to just try it yourself, then it's, it's, it's very easy. And would you like to say anything about the energy? Uh, about the the energy is a energy generator is a byproduct for us. Yeah. It's not a main thing. And it will be available we block, we stop sales from next week. Mm -hmm. There will be no more further sales till Christmas. So we have to uh, hurry up? No, no, no. You just know, nobody knew. But mm -hmm. from next week, the boys have instruction to block. <coughs> <coughs> and then in New Year, we go to 20,000. We need a gap. We can't say from tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We need a gap of three months. First of October, more or less. We go and to why? The gap. Why the gap? to go to a normal prices because the structure is set that we take a small part of it. We pay most of it to your government. It's an incentive for them to accept the technology. When you have one million people paying your government 15,000 each, is 15 billion. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of money for government. So we are, this is the way we are encouraging governments to collaborate with us. They got to see the benefit from it for their society. Okay. So now with a 5,000 unit, 
we are enticing the governments to take a smaller part. Mm -hmm. When we go to 20,000, literally we have to do it because the government loses the revenue from fuel or whatever. They can see the books are balanced, then they don't oppose us. Mm -hmm. then we, we measure everything before we make a move. Mm -hmm. So the gap is, reason for it mm -hmm. is necessary. And you can't say today is that much, I send my application from blah blah. You can't buy anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like tickets to here. We blocked the tickets at so many numbers. Mm -hmm. And we are still well oversubscribed by 20. Mm -hmm. So you you see the problem. We see the problem. So we leave three months gap and the 20, 10 kilowatt goes to 50,000 euro mm -hmm. from 20. Because the Americans pay for it. A 10 kilowatt in America is about $85,000. And only summertime, and only warm time. Mm. Winter time, <coughs> they need all these batteries mm. to store. The system doesn't need the battery. So in a long, I mean, immediately pays for itself. Yeah. So, mm. uh, I mean, today somebody I know she came to me and she said, I don't have the five thousand. I had a job. I wanted to order, and I lost my job now. I said I know her for a long time. I said, she's, because I know she's honest. I said, okay, just send me the form tomorrow immediately, and then we donate it back to you, which means she doesn't need to pay. And is, is it possible to order and pay in? No, but this is because mm -hmm. the foundation it doesn't work that way with the energy. So we, for the poor countries like African countries, we let the governments to build it at a very low cost, so people can afford paying for it. Mm -hmm. This technology is for people, not for governments. But if you don't carry the governments, they block it. Yes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So yeah. this is so that people don't understand solution. why we invite governments. Why should the technology yeah. rely many so people, much? Fact, many people were asking, <coughs> why, why have you chosen this way? Because if I want to teach you, and the government sees me a threat, they just a switch, internet is blocked. We don't exist mm -hmm. for your people. When you collaborate with the governments. You get the benefit, we do the same. If they see us not a danger, they see no political evaluation or changes. Okay. Most of the problem with us is the fear of unknown. It's not the reality mm -hmm. of what it is. So um, they say, why do you talk to government, you're going to give the technology? No, we don't give the technology to government. But if the government understands, if they don't come with us, they're going to lose a huge income. At the same time, they need a, there's a need for stability, social stability. Then they can plan their ways, they know what's coming up. Mm -hmm. Then it's to your benefit, there's no other rest, there's mm -hmm. no problem, we're all happy. No danger. Mm -hmm. We so keep it that way. It has to be. You, a technology like this cannot be done without the support of governments. Mm -hmm. And now we're carrying African nations with us, we're carrying South American nations mm -hmm. with us. And the problem now I see, as I explained, is a juggling. Mm -hmm. They want to be the first. We come. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was. Very interesting to see within hours from the presentation here, President of Sudan immediately announcing that there is a need for, because we announced it here, mm -hmm. we established it. Yeah? So they juggled they straight away that they, they were, because he was giving a talk, his ambassador was here, mm -hmm. the what they call scientific attache was here, mm -hmm. he stood, he asked so many questions. Mm -hmm. So they knew, so immediately says because Sierra Leone ambassador with the order of the president was here to sign an agreement that they will be the first because we know they were here in the first meeting as well. So we already agreed. Most of the agreement was done beforehand. The, the presentation was a formality. And tell me, are there any women involved in, in that, I don't want to call it business, in what? system? Um, Diplomatic. Yes. Of course, yeah, dealing, yeah, dealing with uh, they must be maybe more open, no? Than the no, no, no. They work. Diplomats work on instruction. Okay. They have when they come here, they have to write a report what they see, what they've done. Mm -hmm. And you saw the Italian representative, the yes. guy I picked for him. Yeah. He is a high-ranking EU. Mm -hmm. He has called the ambassador. They reported to him. He was telling me your material is on the way to be tested in Italy. Mm -hmm. And I was in Italy last weekend. So government has to work with us. We don't do anything strange, but government have to have to understand. Mm -hmm. The fear is not there, but the thing is, if I open the borders in two months' time, which you have no problem, 
Who's going to look after you in Czechoslovakia? Do you know what the others will do from yes, it, Albania the, and then a few will do it now? Yeah, and it's the, in fact the barrier between the East and the West. It, it should be no difference the soon. There should be no difference. Yeah, but for, I, I can feel still, because there is EU, you have no, when you circulate, there is no tension <coughs> and always the border of, of Czech Republic is, is guarded. It's guarded. Yeah, yeah, because it's for whatever it is. But you can't guard borders anymore. Not Just Unofficially, you not can't do anymore. Yeah. You cannot do. Mm -hmm. You cannot do. Yeah. Go on my website and look at the. Go on the YouTube yeah. and look what we put in last week, two days ago. Uh -huh. wow. Have a look at the video. It's only an hour and a half. It's very much uh, a new face of what this technology can do peacefully, what it's built for, and on the other hand, why it can enforce the peace. Mm -hmm. It is very interesting because we showed how you can capture how, not how you can, how the American drone was captured last year. We mm -hmm. showed it for the first time in the video. What does this mean? It means we can enforce peace. Mm -hmm. You only need one system to disable all the military apparatus of one nation. When you connect it, when you make it one, then, then, then you can, but I'm not in that yeah. job. My job is to not to make Sony unemployed in one country mm -hmm. in the but allow the time of transition. Mm -hmm. And the guy who works in the factory makes the aircraft, a fighter, mm -hmm. they still have a children. Why should he suffer? Because mm -hmm. we develop something. The governments have to allow, look at the new position, and allow that fighter to become. It happened to you? It happened to you? I was in the East when the, when the war came down. Czech Republic mm -hmm. in Russia. We went into mm -hmm. Russia and we went into Bulgaria, in Romania. Factories which they used to make tanks, they start making pianos, buckets. Yeah, yeah. So if they could do it, the other countries can do the same transition. Huh? Yeah. I used to, because this, this technology is being financed on a lot of heavy, heavy financial commitment. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the, when the Eastern Bloc opened up, yeah. well, one of my companies, because I have five companies in three continents, one of my company was responsible to pull whatever we could out of the factories in the west, mm -hmm. into into west from the east, but keeping employment mm -hmm. in the east <coughs> because we lost everything overnight. Huh? Yeah. I used to yeah. sleep in Bucharest. I used to be. Mm -hmm. huh? I was in Bucharest. People used to go with a box with a shoe. Yeah. That's huh? why I think because there is still the memory of these very hard times that people are very, especially people in Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. I I can know. I I can say that they are very open and are ready because to you've fully been sacrifice. Through it. No, because yeah, you've been exactly. through it and you know you uh -huh. survived. Yeah, and, and Western Europe hasn't been through anything. people want yeah. it very much and they are just waiting for something that is real. Because there are many things that... No, because the thing is, up to now you've been waiting for somebody to do it for you. Mm -hmm. Like today we taught you, we teach you the principle. Mm -hmm. It's you to do it. Mm -hmm. It's your scientists to do it. It's not on me anymore. Mm -hmm. <coughs> People come here, they look, oh, what is your space technology? Mm -hmm. It's not. We, we develop, we give it to you. Go and develop it. Nothing is hidden mm -hmm. from you. The thing is that there were scientists already invited to Czech Republic that had technologies like cold fusion. But it, it cold was, fusion doesn't exist. Yeah. Oh, well, so-called oh. cold fusion. But uh, they were not ready, in fact, to, for production. The thing is, the beauty of this thing is, if you have a kitchen, you have a sink, you can produce it, we tell you that much. After 21st of December, we start opening. You saw that professor, mm -hmm. right? He knows he's finished. Mm -hmm. He knows scientifically he's finished. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you saw him, huh? He was yes. very irritated mm -hmm. because he has to ignore it. He doesn't have a PhD anymore. He doesn't have. A, there is no need for a professor mm. who carries a piece of plastic mm. Mm? Mm. when he can create the whole structure of solar system in the, in the back kitchen and have enough energy and water. Mm. Huh? Water. I'm very much interested in water. And when you were talking about water, that you can get into a plasma and recreate a water. Because water carries memory <coughs> in a structure. So what no, it doesn't carry memory. This is a lot of rubbish. Uh, this is people who don't understand. 
the way we do the water at the moment, the latest system we do have, <coughs> we create gravitational magnetic field of the water. Mm -hmm. Around our system, you just literally see rain. Mm -hmm. Literally, water drops, drops. We can collect Out of nowhere. Out of the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. In this environment, mm -hmm. there's, in the west, is about 50% moisture. Mm -hmm. In the driest desert in the woods, 15% moisture. Yeah? So the moisture is everywhere, but you can create the mo to a system that attracts moisture, like a magnet mm -hmm. for the water, and it just rains. That's how it happens everywhere in the universe. So it means it attracts water from... It yeah, attracts from its environment. Mm -hmm. You can create as much as you need. You can't take more than what you need, but you take what you need. We were supposed to have the Saudi Royal Family people here just for the negotiation for the water for Jeddah. Now they called me and they said, oh, it's too much problem coming with me to in, in uh, Freetown, I told you. So they come to Freetown, they have the finances, and you don't need cooling towers. It costs a couple of thousand euro. You can have 20, 30,000 gallons a day, but you can't disturb the eco cycle. It's like mm -hmm. the CO2. Yes, CO2, you can't absorb all the CO2. Mm -hmm. If you absorb too much CO2, then we see a lot of new diseases. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it has to be controlled. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Thank you. Okay, very much. thanks very much. Thanks for your time.